Hey there everyone, I'm going to be giving away this Spy Unusual. Check the first comment in the comment section below, it's super easy, super free, and super sexy. Hey there guys. So today I wanted to talk about multiboxing slash cheating with bots. You're looking at an example right now. You can see four bots and the owner all using Lamau Box to stomp on the enemy team. This was done using Lamau Box's follow bot cheat or the multibox program, both of which I'll talk about soon. But first, let's look at some clips. Here's Mr. I Wilson 2688 I'm going to show you a few clips of him playing and see if you can figure out if he's cheating or not. So what do you think? In my opinion, this person is not cheating. If you think he was, I'm going to go through the clips again and explain my reasoning why. So initially it sort of looks like a sort of silent aim, but I'm pretty sure it's just a case of him having very high ping. As you can see, he's not snapping around or locking onto anything, he's just aiming a little bit behind. This is really shown on this clip where he's hitting the scout, but he's not really aiming at them from what we can see. However, we are in spectator mode, so we see what the server sees and not what he sees. On his side, his shots are probably landing perfectly, but because of the high ping, it makes it look like this. Another reason I don't think this person is cheating is because of that right there. If he was actually using an aimbot, it would snap onto the pyro as it walked by. Now theoretically, he could be using a setting called target lock, which is where once an aimbot has locked onto a player, it will not unlock until the player is either dead or inaccessible. However, if we slow down the footage considerably, you can see by the time the pyro passes, the soldier is already out of sight, so if he was using an aimbot, it would have automatically locked onto the pyro. We're going to look at one more guy before we move on to multiboxing. Remember, try and pay attention for anything suspicious. Alrighty, made up your mind? Let's go over the clips again. So if you read the starting pop-up, I told you to look at the person's aim in and out of combat. How do they move around when they're not fighting someone? As you can see here, he's moving around normally, but the moment he tries to throw something, he snaps around. Here's another good example. Look at how they move their mouse around very fluidly and smoothly, but the moment they go onto the pyro, it becomes locky and jittery. This is a prime giveaway that a person is using an aimbot. A person's aimbot can also act differently depending on what weapon they're holding. As you can see, it locks to the pyro's feet when he's holding the guillotine, but the moment he switches over to the scattergun, it switches to center of mass, ensuring the best meat shots. You can also tell this person is using a wall hack. Look at how they're staring at this one person behind the wall non-stop. That person was a sniper and they killed them, so obviously they're trying to keep a close eye on them, but in the process, they're giving away that they have the wall hack. Alright, on to multiboxing. So here you can see the computer on the right is mimicking the computer on the left, almost exactly. This was one of the first main tests of aim mimicking. As you can see, it works almost scarily well. This is one of the first appearances of anything like this, all the way back in 2014. It used a cheat specifically designed to do something like this and was not available to the public. Each instance of the cheat shared information with each other, with all of them trying to mimic the main window. It was experimental at the time, but as you can see it worked fairly well and eventually spawned many different iterations. Here's a glimpse into how it actually works. As you can see, the cheat can literally figure out the exact position and the exact view angle of the original account and try and share that onto the multiple other bot accounts. Now here's another example of it. Can you see what's happening? It may not jump out at you at first, but once you notice it, it is insane. If you've not figured it out yet, look at his health. It is constantly regenerating to as max as it can be. This was achieved by the use of a few different cheats, but I'll walk you through them. Firstly, they used some medic multibox bots to join and start healing them. Then, they all used an air stuck cheat. Now, what an air stuck cheat does is it freezes your packets. You can't move and your statuses can't really be changed, but because of how the medibeam works, if you enable it, it will continue healing a person from anywhere on the map. Occasionally, you can even catch glimpses of the medibeams moving across the map. Scary stuff. Here's what the air stuck cheat looks like. 
As you can see, you don't move or shoot while it's activated, but if you combine it with a bonk, you are literally invincible until you leave that state. Here's what the multibox program looks like. As you can see, you can add account after account after account, theoretically adding up to an entire team of bots. For this bot, he set it up to heal him non-stop. The medic will follow him no matter where he goes and continuously try to heal him. Theoretically, you could stack four medics, one with every single vaccinator and one with a quick fix, and become basically unkillable. I'm going to leave you guys with one last example of multiboxing. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and until next time, I'll see ya.